Hello guys, my name is Anna and I'm a Ukrainian and I have decided I will vlog daily from my country Ukraine since the start of the Sofa War with Russia. And in my daily vlogs I try to update you on the important real life situations in Ukraine and of course I'm always glad to answer your questions and to clarify some facts from our background, our history, culture or whatever interests you. Your questions always inspire my thinking and my vlogs and today I want to answer one of them about our national flag yellow and blue, blue and yellow actually. And uh, also recently I have asked you to send me photos of Ukrainian flags that are hanging in your cities, in your regions, uh, in your gardens, in your houses. And um, I'm very grateful for these emails and uh, the level of support. It's pretty windy during the weeks in Ukraine. And uh, your support is extremely valuable for me and I plan to launch a project and to share some of your videos with my countrymen because this kind of support, not government control, but people to people context are very important. And today I want to show you our flag, the largest flag in my region and in my city. And also I will tell you later a little bit of history of our national flag. So perhaps this is the largest flag that we have in my city and it is closely located to our regional council and regional administration. Here it is, a very typical Soviet building. You can find similar in many locations in Ukraine. I cannot tell you this is my favorite square in the city, Kyivska Square or Kyivsky Maidan. But of course it's an important location and here is this flag and as far as I know many similar are located in other regions of Ukraine but now it all means something more important than usual and across the road we have a tax office building and this is just like a beginning of a slipping district in Lutsk but I do like this really big flag and definitely the emotions I have right now for it are much stronger I have always loved my country and our flag but now it is definitely something totally different I think from this location it looks beautiful by the way we still have a pretty cold weather for the end of May and the beginning of June we still have to wear sweaters and quite windy so nice with it. So this is the main flag in my city. But of course we have many of them everywhere. Actually I almost got caught when I filmed the video with this flag because it's close to the regional council and the representatives of the territorial defense came up to me with the guns uh, asking to stop filming but I'm good at uh, conversations so they have uh, allowed me to use this video but still everything is pretty much under control that's why and it's actually good that's why I don't post that many videos from uh, the streets but um, I hope uh, you have uh, felt the atmosphere in general but these flags are everywhere and they are very important for us now and uh, they were during the last 30 years of Ukrainian independence because during the Soviet times it was prohibited to use blue and yellow flags and uh, people could get into jail for two years or even more for demonstrating once again nationalism because for Soviets and for Russians if you are Ukrainian you are a Nazi not being Russian saying that you are not Russian and living on the territory of post-Soviet Union is to be Nazi for Russians so the history of this uh, flag dates back to the 14th century and it was popular actually in the Kingdom of Rus that was located uh, also partly on the territory of my region. Later these colors were popular among Kozaki Cossacks and of course it became uh, very famous during the period of 1917-1921, a very short period of Ukrainian independence and Ukrainian People's uh, Republic and Hetmanat Skoropatsko that is a very short but a very important period in Ukrainian history just before we were occupied by Soviets who made red flag the flag of 
all Soviet republics with just slight differences but in general it was prohibited to use blue and yellow and they appeared again only in the end of 80s with the spirit of uh, independence and freedom that actually led to the fall of the Soviet Union and the independence of Ukraine. We celebrate the day of our national flag on the 23rd of August, just the day before Independence Day. And uh, you can see lots of flags that day everywhere on the streets, but now they also, we decorate everything with them. And of course, this flag was always important for Ukrainians, but now it has a totally different meaning and it demonstrates our strengths. It demonstrates that we are Ukrainians and we are very grateful for all those flags that appear all over the world in some small and very important places, in totally unexpected places, because this is extremely valuable. And also you ask me about the colors, what do they symbolize? And of course, blue Ukrainian skies and yellow Ukrainian wit. I know that we share these colors with Sweden and some other regions all over the world and we love this solidarity. And I'm also very grateful for the flags that you send me and for the flags that you put in your houses, in your cities, in your offices. This is all very important. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for your questions that inspire my vlogs. Thank you for subscriptions. I have a very loud group of school children next to me, you know, teenagers, guys, but they are shouting very correct uh, things, quarreling about the, some Ukrainian businessmen that participated in Russian business just before the war. So they are pretty into the context and that is very important. Anyway, uh, thank you for being with me. Thank you for buying me coffee, for becoming my patrons, and most importantly, and for watching these videos and sharing the information about Ukraine. Slava Ukraine!